Tell me that's not the exact same song. Tell me that's not, it is it is different notes. But uh, I think Daytona and Pokemon were made for each other. Because those fit right together like PB and J. Uh, welcome everybody to Salty Bet. We're gonna keep doing this because I have millions of dollars. And I am having fun still. Uh, we're probably on the tail end of the season. So we'll probably wind down in the next couple of streams or so. But uh, so far, we're still going strong. I, I played a lot offline or off stream, and uh, I got, I lost a lot of money, and then I got a lot of money back again. For some reason, when I'm having a losing streak, it makes me less inclined to like stream Salty Bet, which I know is stupid, but it's true. I'm like, oh, my luck is bad, even though luck is obviously just in your perception. I, I think it's possible to get tilted at Salty Bet, uh, but anyway, we got some lovely art here. Very cool, very stylish stuff from uh, J Online NG. Uh, what is this art deco? <laughs> That's just a little joke, everybody. Uh, I was, I, it's a very cool like little manga panel, and I think it's appropriate because today I'm going to talk about anime on stream, and I'm going to talk about Animal Well and other things that have been happening in my life. Uh, so I hope you're ready. Uh, thank you, J Online NG, and they even included. I assume this text on the right <laughs> reads: "The stream will begin shortly." As with many things where there's text in a language I don't understand, uh, and I, I, don't, I guess I don't want to tempt anyone to do this. Now, now that I'm saying this, I'm going to be super like conscious about it. If you ever put like foreign text in art, it could say anything. <laughs> it could say the most horrible things. <laughs> please, okay, please, if you're going to do a joke like that, at least. Uh, just, just don't make it, just don't use slurs, just don't use slurs, that's all I'm asking. You can do that, just don't, you just be cool, just be cool, you know. The people are saying this is the actual text, and I'm not talking about this one in particular, I don't, I don't suspect J Online NG of sneaking in uh, a little, uh, a cheeky little N-word in there or anything. Uh, but thank you, J Online NG, good art. Uh, we're gonna play Salty Bet. Let me get this music out of here and get this music in here. For just a second, I was like, what if I unmute it and it's the same song? Because that song does play on Salty Bet. Okay, we just got, I mean, this just looks like a real ass fighting game. We know as seasoned gamers that it's Yun from Street Fighter 3 and uh, actually no, it's CVS Yun, fuck. And Chun Shu, he's one of the Jin bros from King of Fighters. I don't know which game. Actually, fuck, maybe they're from, uh, a different SNK franchise. I don't actually know. Fake gamer. Alright, so, uh, welcome to Salty Bet, everybody. Uh, to those of you here who got jibated by the title, uh, we will talk about Animal Well, but this is my recent addiction. Masako! <laughs> oh, awesome. Yang came out and did jack shit. Stealthy steps. Oh, Turbo Ken is great. I don't know what Kim EXE Maru. Is it a Sonic EXE? Uh, then we're watching AI fight against each other. I know we just saw two very traditional looking fighting game characters, but there's a lot of shit posts on here. Uh, and I have accrued several millions of dollars and we're betting it's fake money. Fake, fake money. Oh my god, it's the exhibition stage. That's just random. I've seen this bitch before. She fucking barely animates. 
if memory serves. Let's do a pretty, let's do a big bet. Let's do like a 400K on Turbo Ken. Uh, Turbo Ken, it's, it's not just like, oh, Ken from Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo or whatever. He's like tweaking. He's like, just you wait till you see how fast he is. He's the fastest, fastest guy we've ever got, fastest in the whole world. Betting time is now over. Let me actually really try to do a Trump, actually, because that's just, that's just unacceptable. I need to like really, uh, he's the, I think I've already, I'm already, I'm already onto something. Uh, he's, he's the fastest, he's the fastest guy we've ever got. He's the fastest guy maybe in the whole country. Very sad, many such cases. Look at this. Can we get a timer scam? He got one hit on her and <laughs> look how fast he is. <laughs> He's genuinely tweaking. This could be good. This could be a good win if he keeps it up. Perfect fucking game. What do you recommend as far as mobile Tex Texas Hold'em games? I, I don't know. I don't play much virtual poker. Literally only Poker Night series. When you say fake money, do you mean like premiums currency or like truly free? I've not. Well, actually, I, I, in a weird way, yes. It's like, okay. In like a really roundabout way, yes, but at no point did I ever directly buy money. But I do pay for a like gold membership, which gives me like a, the availability to like see stats for the characters and request exhibitions and uh, nice. And it, it makes it so that the amount, it's like when you lose all your money, uh, they give you a bailout amount to start over with. And uh, partially because I paid for the gold membership and partially because I've made several like 25,000 bets over the course of my life, uh, it like ranked me up so that I get a higher bailout amount. But that hasn't mattered for a really long time because I'm at like 18 million now, you know? Uh, that was a good win, by the way. So, like, really, if technically speaking, yes. Some of this is because I paid them $5 a month or whatever. <laughs> I wonder if my... Uh, did I get it for a year when I paid for it? Because you can, like, get it for a month, get it for a year, or, like, lifetime, I think, is, like, 60 bucks or something. I might have purchased a year's worth just to be safe. Uh, okay. What are we thinking here? We got Flam, we got Judgment. Uh, let's go with Judgment. 263, 987. Betting time is not now over. They're clearly still open. Uh, okay, well, any of y'all fucking play Animal Well? Did you, did you guys see this game? Perhaps you've heard of it? Uh, I mean, everybody was talking about this, at least on my For You page on Twitter. It was like all I could see, and for once, when my For You page became flooded with something unanimously, it was something that I actually fucking wanted to see. It's so fucking good. I I don't know if I'll get into spoilers, but it was so fucking good. I would say if you want to like completely avoid literally any talk about it, maybe this isn't the stream for you. But, oh my god. I went into, this is a great match by the way. Judgment, you're doing fucking awesome. Keep up the good work. We're gonna make fucking a million bucks off this. If this continues, he's got to do. He's got to take two rounds. If you, if you're gonna go play it, farewell. Enjoy. It's fucking amazing. If it's five bucks a month and there's life, I don't know if I said it was five bucks a month. And if I did, it was. I was just like shooting out random numbers. I don't know that the act. The actual values make sense. Uh. It's very, very good. It's I, I, So I played Animal Well at PAX a little bit. I was like, oh, hey, Donkey. And uh, <laughs> Donkey was not there, but I had heard of it. I think most people have probably heard of it from Donkey. Isabel was uh, being a little hipster to me and saying that she knew about it before uh, Donkey's involvement, which I believe her. I believe her. She's very based. She is extremely based in that regard. That's one of the many things I love about her is extremely based gaming knowledge. She has her finger on the pulse, uh, truly. But uh, we played a little bit of it, her and I. This is not going well, by the way. At PAX. 
What the fuck just happened? Okay. <laughs> and it's over. And it's over. God damn, it was a beautiful dream. What the fuck was that first round? Uh, I was kind of like, oh, you know, this is just kind of an average, kind of cool-looking Metroidvania. You know, and when I was playing it, I was like, okay, you know, boop, boop, I'm jumping around. There's nothing really special here. And then I was like, when, when I walked into a room and I picked up a map, and I looked at the map, and I saw that it was, like, super obviously a Metroidvania map, I, like, didn't know anything about the game before that. And I was like, oh... Is this, uh, fucking heartache, heartbreak? Is it? I swear this is. It may be, like, an instrumental version. That's from, like, Persona 4, right? We gotta go for Spiny here. Look at him. He's awesome. So, I when I played it at PAX, I knew... I was like, okay, I'll probably play this. Because it's a cool-looking Metroidvania. Uh, with a neat art style. But, man, uh... I came out of the other side of that game a changed man. We got it the day it came out, and we just, in the, Isabel had to go to like work and stuff, but all the time that she was off work, we just spent playing the game. I think uh, if you want like a recommendation, of course I'm giving it, but also like, even if you're put off by like, this is a game with like a fuck ton of secrets and stuff, uh, and, and, like, layers and layers of, like, crazy secrets and, like, some kind of crazy, out-of-the-way, hard-to-figure-out stuff. Uh, but it's also quite doable by just about anyone to complete the actual main game. Uh, and it will still be an incredible, satisfying experience. I kept finding, uh, myself thinking about parts of Super Metroid where you interact with those little, like, robots that, like, walk around like there's, there's, is, or is it maybe an, even an animal? There's sometimes you interact with animals, sometimes they're little robots that are just, like, peaceful, and they just interact in the environment in weird ways. It was kind of like a whole game of those, which was fucking based. It was so, like, what an unbelievably, like, good vibe for a game. And it was so, it looks so cool, and the particle effects are really cool. The game runs so smoothly, despite having, like, what seems to be a pretty sophisticated, like, 2D pixel art, like, lighting engine, or shader, or something. I'm not, uh, I'm not a programmer, but I was very impressed with how the game looked technically, and it's like a really tiny file size, too. It's like 40 megabytes or something, and it looks and plays incredibly. There's tons of parts where there's, there's like, you know, a hundred fucking sprites moving around on screen. And there's all these weird particle effects coming off of everything, and it doesn't look like visual clutter, and it looks great, and it runs really, like, lightning fast. It's kind of whack for an indie game. This is Animal Well. We're talking about Animal Well. Uh... I, may, I really made it sound like I was going to talk about it for the whole stream, but really I'm probably just going to talk about it a bit at the beginning, and then, you know... Ease off and talk about other shit, but, uh... Man, was it fucking good, and it was, like, really different, and it had a really, it had such a cool vibe, oh, and I, so I, I guess this is, like, a very mildly spoilery thing, but Bella and I played as far as, uh, the second ending. There's, there's multiple endings, I guess, spoiler. Uh, and that was, I found that to be, like, I don't really have any desire to play it more. I'm sorry that I didn't stream it, by the way. We're gonna go with Marco, man. He's awesome. Oh, he just snapped. He just... <laughs> Did you see that? He just, like, broke inside and just started... It was like, alright, I've decided. It's on site. I'm throwing ten heads at you. <laughs> Did you turn off the scan lines? I did not. I am an epic scanline truther. I thought it was good. There were parts where I was, like, looking at the map, and I was kind of like, man, the scanline's really kind of, <laughs> in, a, in a way, sort of obstruct being able to, like, clearly see what's in these rooms. That's one of my, like, mild problems I had with it, is, like, the map was, uh, a little hard to read sometimes. But not, I mean, it is a good Metroidvania map. That whole game, speaking of on-site, that whole game has, like, a really cool kind of line of sight system that I really enjoyed and it was it, it wasn't like super relevant to gameplay but during the times that it was it was really cool 
Lots of really fu fucking unique ideas. I really think this is, like, certainly a top 10 of 20, 2024 for me. I can't, uh, like, how the fuck are, like, eight games gonna surpass this? COLA! Alright, now place your bets, everybody. Is, will it be a funny character that's like a big can of coke? Or is it gonna be some fucking, like, anime girl who happens to be called Cola? Uh, they don't have L in Japan, I guess. I'm, I'm thinking funny. Come on, hit me with a big coke can. It's a black screen. Oh my god, it's a fucking anime girl! God damn it! Oh, burnt again. I, they tricked me! They don't have L in Japan, man! Fuck! I was pretty confident that it was gonna be funny! Okay, we're betting against Cola. I fucking hate Cola. All my homies hate Cola. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, we'll go with Amoeba. Frankly, uh... Akura no Ken characters on here can be pretty hit or miss, but I think Amoeba is a, is a pretty safe bet, and I'm not even doing that big of a bet. <laughs> Only almost a quarter of a million, nothing at all, a pittance, really. Uh, I'm so pissed. Can at least one of her moves be about Coca-Cola, please? Oh my god, the screen caps from the anime. This is like a bootleg-ass amoeba. Because the sprites are from that one HNK fighting game, but there's no way they have these like shitty-ass screen caps in the background of that game. Uh, one thing that I really enjoyed in Animal Well was that I got to do some like... It was very Fez-esque in a lot of ways, I think. Which, Fez is also a fantastic game. I think, frankly, the things that Fez does well, Animal Well kind of does better. And this is coming from a guy who will sit here and gab about Fez. Like, I love that game. Obviously. People were comparing it to Tunic as well. Uh, that might be Toki's sprites? Maybe. I... All these names are, like, in my head, but I can't really put the names to faces. What the fuck? <laughs> He's fucking essaying. His hands? That's all. Oh, everybody remembers the classic time when Amoeba uh, cut off a guy's hands and sliced him down the middle like a fucking hot dog. Uh, you know. I say like a hot dog, and I'm gonna try to salvage that. It's, uh, there was a sausage. To evenly cook the sausage, you, uh, score them. You score the sausage. That's- you slice it down. Phew! Save the sentence. No one will be any the wiser. Okay, Amoeba took a fucking beating. Like a hot dog bun, like a bun, like a bun. It's exactly like a bun. That's actually what I meant to say the whole time. It's like a bun. Exactly. It took the words right out of my mouth. Bun. Like a bun. Thank you, Chad. But yeah, it's kind of got like a tunic-y, fezzy quality. I, I have here an envelope. I don't have webcam today because uh, it's hot in my room and I am not wearing a shirt. Uh, I had to write down codes and like decode a little language. The little like circle of happy faces. Yeah, I solved that puzzle. No big deal. I solved it with a pen and paper. Uh, there were a lot of things in that game that made me feel very satisfied and very smart. And then there were also a lot of times where I was like... Because Isabella and I ended up, like, googling where to find, like, the last handful of eggs. Uh, and I was able to get a surprising amount of them just by, like, bumbling around, basically, and, like, looking at things that were suspicious. But, uh, oh, look at this red versus blue. We love to see it. I gotta go with Ando. Sorry, uh... That's some, like, Tuhu edit. Tuhu. <laughs> I really want to make it clear that I say that as, like, a joke. There may have been times in the past where I unironically said to who, but now I've sort of, like... Some, I'm sure... I feel like a lot of people have this, where it's like you'll mispronounce a word a certain way. I, Mike does this, too. Where he, like, said Pepito, 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 when he was playing Pizza Tower. And people kept going, no, it's Pepino, it's Pepino. And then he started saying, like, oh, well, now I'm going to intentionally call him Pepito. You know? Is it not pronounced that way? It is toe-ho. Like toe and then ho. Someone who is a ho for toes. It's a good mnemonic. Um, I got some bad news, guys. Don't look now. 
but Ando is getting his fucking shit kicked in. That's why I didn't bet very much on him. <laughs> Holy fuck. So yeah, uh, I got to pet sit for, in other news, I got to pet sit for an abo adorable baby dog. I've heard they're called puppies. Uh, it was very cute. It, a dachshund, I believe he was a dachshund. And I should get a picture maybe. I took the opportunity. When you're dog sitting, I think in modern culture, it's, uh, Oh, Mad Grinder is from, like, a uh, fucking... He's like a Mega Man-looking guy, right? It's customary to take pictures with the dog. Take nice dog pictures while you're pet-sitting. Like, how could you not? So, I got some good ones. He was a very, very good dog. He did not make me sneeze, which was very cool of him. With dogs, it's usually a 50-50. Yeah, Mad Grinder fucks. Let's go big on Mad Grinder. Let's do a million. Let's do a million. I'm gonna start throwing money around. I just remember Mad Grinder getting me money in the past. This bitch looks very powerful. You can tell, you can see the power in here. So it may be thrown into the toilet. But uh, I just have a vague memory of Mad Grinder being mad good. Yeah, you guys, uh, I mean, we see all sorts of tit animations on, uh, <laughs> on Salty Bet. Really, the sky is the limit when it comes to... Uh, Weird animation on boobs. I mean, that is really the just the tip of the iceberg. Or the aeola, the aeoli, the areola. <laughs> Man, that is how it, my sexuality is Italian. What are the things on the ends of your nipples? Aeoli. Is aeoli even Italian? It sounds very Italian. All right, Mad Grinder, make me proud. Uh, you're not making me very proud right now. Oh, look at that. But yeah, he's got that like uh, uh, kind of beat going on, you know? He's got that, you know? Yeah, he fucks. He fucks. He's barely animated at all. This is like a Mega Man X uh, boss. By the way, uh, I don't want to make anyone jealous, but I was one of the uh, lucky millions of individuals who got to see the uh, Aurora Borealis last night. Localized entirely within the entire fucking planet, apparently. Like, everyone saw it. It was, like, all over the fucking world, at least. I saw people in, like, the UK posting, like, Oh, yeah, oh, cheers, Gaffner, it's Aurora Borealis. Oh, Tuesday, in it. All right, we got the big money. We didn't make that much. The odds were three to one, so we made, like, 350k, but... Mega Man 7 is where Mad Grinder is from, okay. How does it feel to outbet Wabbit Season? Did I really? Ooh. How the tables have turned. You know, he has like many, many billions more dollars than me, but I can get a temporary thrill off of that, I guess. Okay. Oh. I like both of these. I mean, Terry's awesome. Terry's one of those characters that's like, Usually any version of Terry is going to have a pretty good success rate. Kind of the like more retro they go, the better sometimes. But I'm going to I'm going to dream a little. We're just going to do a 250k on uh, this little robot here. I like the cut of his jib. He's just a little guy. He's just a weird little guy. He's got a je ne sais quoi to him that other other mechs don't. Yeah, I'm sorry to anybody who didn't know the Aurora Borealis was happening. It wasn't like... From where we saw it, it was like really cool. We went to... Uh, well, and I live relatively close to a park, so we just walked down to the park, basically, and... Uh, there were tons and tons of people standing out there. There was literally like a hundred people at the park, all standing in the middle grass part, like a way... There's like sort of a ring of like sidewalk around this big grassy area. And the, the ring has street lights, but people wanted to go where there was as little light pollution as possible. So they were all just standing in the dark in the middle of the field at like midnight. It was very, uh, it was kind of eerie, but it was very cool. And it was like a balmy summer night too. So like 
it was a very it was a it was a fun date. It was a fun date. We just sat there going ooh uh, for like half an hour and then walked home. <laughs> it was very cool. Isabel got some good pictures. My phone is a fucking piece of shit. So like literally like she could capture this like gorgeous skyline, you know, because like, a lot of like modern like iPhones and stuff. Damn it, have uh, this capability of like taking like halfway decent nature photography because I don't advanced camera technology. But I have this like dinosaur piece of shit phone that was like a hundred dollars when I got it, and when I pulled up my camera, it was literally just pure black, like not anything. <laughs> it was insane. It was insane the difference between what appeared on Isabel's phone screen and what appeared on mine. Alright, what do we got? Masked Rider NU13. I don't know what... I know what Masked Rider is, but... Okay. Oh, this stage is awesome! <laughs> and I like that girl that walked by and just went, hi, and left. This is like an all-time great stage. Oh, does anybody know what this is from? Uh, let's go with the Common Rider guy, I guess. Do 300k on Common Rider. These like, there's like a million of these jank Common Rider characters oh, on uh, Salty Bet, and they they're usually kind of in the middle. Uh, they usually kind of like poorly designed, but sometimes that means they have very overpowered moves. We got pretty even win rates, and we're in fucking B tier here, so it's kind of. Uh... Oh, I like this song. Uh... It's a toss up sometimes with these dumbasses in B tier. Yeah, like, I mean, I, and I know, like, balancing the, you know, the colors and the lighting in nighttime photos is very difficult. Oh, he's getting his shit kicked in. But all we need is for him to do, like, one fucking, like, crazy OP super. Damn it. Just stay down. Just stay down. What is the fetish? Somebody in chat said that, in the Salty Bet chat, said someone's fetish on display here. I'm struggling to see the fetish. The lady's just, like, got, like, a tight suit on. Or maybe they're talking about the Statue of Liberty. Maybe they're into Statue of Liberty Vore. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think anybody's ever? Because people are into like you know giantesses and stuff, and people enjoy the the idea of being swallowed. I bet that I'm. I'm really struggling to resist the temptation to go Google Statue of Liberty Vore. Oh, Snake Eyes is awesome. Robot slash human weapon girls is that a is that one of them one of the kinks i'm not gonna google it but i bet you it exists that's something i would not be surprised at all to learn that it exists oh this is not the right snake eyes damn it there's another one called snake eyes that's like a gigantic fucking snake <laughs> that's like in the background and it like sticks a rattle into the screen okay and Slash, you're quite well animated and stylish. Uh, what what are you from? We're gonna go with Snake Eyes, though. He seems capable. I'm gonna kind of trust the win rate here, too. There's so many songs. This is one of the songs that I think is on the jams playlist. That I've just I've just been vampirically I, I've been sucking the blood out of the playlist on uh <laughs> Salty Bet and just adding it to my own. It's so quiet. Does anybody else think it's like wicked like all their sound effects are like very quiet? Why are they both is 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 there something wrong? I think both of them just happen to have really quiet sound effects. Or do I need to turn that shit up? They're under bubble wrap. Does anybody know what Slash is from?
Okay, it's much closer here than I would like it to be. I should bring up, uh, I, I opened my phone to bring over some doggy pics, and then I never, uh, I never delivered. I also got, you know, I'll toss in a shoe pic, too. Shoe was fucking terrified of the dog. He, I think his prey instinct kind of kicked in a little bit. Because <laughs> he was, uh... He was not happy about it. He, he was squeaking a bit, actually. Goo Goo 64 Mario! Holy shit! Alright, I'm using the animals chat in the Discord. The, uh, the Grapefruit Discord Patreon thing. In order to, uh, transfer pictures over from my phone to my computer. So people are going to be like, why is he, like, dumping just dog pictures in the chat? <laughs> oh, fuck. Shin. Okay. We're definitely going with Goo Goo 64 Mario. How about one million dollars on Goo Goo 64? Let's go nuts. I just want to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to accidentally do ten million. That would be a bit much. Bella said, just send them to me, question marks? I, I, I don't know. I, the last time I did that, you were kind of like, oh, why did you send this? And I was like, oh, yeah, maybe I'll just do it. I don't know. I'll do it next time. I'll do it next time. You're like, why do you do it now when it's fucking, like, cute dog pictures, yet you send it to me when it's a screenshot from your mobile phone of uh, your salty bet winnings? <laughs> uh, here. Let's 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 watch Goo Goo and then after this we can look at doggy pics. Oh no. Oh heavens no. <laughs> it's not looking too good. Although Goo Goo characters uh, sometimes have ridiculous high damage supers and other such jank, so it it could happen, but not looking too good. It's looking like Shin just does not take damage. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Mario has never- he's worn a penguin suit, but not in the sprite art days. Oh yeah, there you go. Do the cape move. Yeah. Yeah! Ha ha ha! This is a very un -Goo -Goo like Goo Goo character. Goo Goo 64 is a very, like, renowned character. Normally they don't have their name in the title of the character, too. Oh, hey. Maybe it is- it, guys, do you think it's just kind of quiet? the audio in general? How do you feel? That hammer did so much, it literally did like half his health. <laughs> I love this, though. This reminds me of a character on here called Super Mario Maker. Who, uh, nice. Hell yeah, buddy. Made about half a mil there. <laughs> I can't stop! <sighs> oh, hell yeah, she kissed his gun. <sighs> Goo Goo 64s are usually, like, very distinctive looking, and that one kind of didn't have the distinctive look. Okay, here, one sec. I'm just saving some images, uh... Because, again, I'm, I'm the grandpa who's out here saving images, and not just typing in... Oh, bring me the dog picture that I took yesterday on, like, Tenor. Right? That's how that works. Oh my god, they're both so tiny. <laughs> Uh, I want to come on at ya. This is one with the little, like, small people crusade. With the bling. The Flava Flav clocks. Okay, these are both P tiers. One of them's got way higher win rate. But, hear me out. It's P tier. What if we just toss a little bet towards her? There's a chance that Immeral is uh, a guy who gets carried by his size. This is something that happens a lot in P-Tier, is the AI in P-Tier are so stupid that characters with tiny hitboxes uh, often fail. Or they, they... The people trying to hit them fail. They, people always miss trying to hit the tiny hitbox because their AI is too stupid. But this chick's the same height. So maybe she won't have that problem. And maybe she'll win. Cope. Oh, he does way more damage than her, though! <laughs> okay, there's not gonna be a whole lot to watch here. Uh, let me just bring up the picks. I'll show you the goods. Uh, cause I think we got some bangers here. Okay, come on, go into... Whoa, they're so close up! 
Big. 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 Here's a lovely little shoe picture. Oh no, I did stretch to screen. <laughs> he looks great. Shoe, you look great. There he is with normal proportions. Reveal the banger. That's just a cute picture I took when he was snoofing around. Here is, uh, here is the dog. Beautiful little puppy. So sweet. So, uh, he's so, like, and I know this is a very creepy thing to say, maybe. He's so, like, helpless. Like, he can barely take a step. It's very fucking cute. His name is Chewy. Here's just one other picture. Boom. Look at those eyes. He, he hits you with the Ochi stare. Like, super often. By the way, guys, my theory was exactly right. She dominated him. So, there's the cute puppy. Uh, how shivery is that dog? Not very shivery. He, I mean, he's got... He's got fat. He's got a fat little puppy tummy. I think he's warm. Dead Kung Fu Man. Okay. EX3. He literally... He's, uh, Chewy is a master of the side eye. That little weird stare that dogs do. <laughs> where they kind of go... Whoa? It's very cute. And very sweet. Likes to be held. Likes to be petted. Likes to play all the classic things. Wow, she killed him. We just cut in. This is like right after the scene of the crime. She killed him with the chainsaw. And she put it away. And she's standing over his dead body. Giving him a pantsu shot. As they call it. And his ghost is like, what the fuck? <laughs> We're gonna go dead, Kung Fu Man. Let's do like a little 250k bet. Yeah, straight up Ace Attorney opening cutscene. I tried not to say it because I know I say Ace Attorney this, Ace Attorney that to like everything. <laughs> but that's right on the money. And there she goes. And there she fucking goes. Okay. Goodbye. She, uh, what is her name? Oh, Kotonoha san sama, fuck. Died on the way back to her home planet. So those of you who don't know, by the way, uh, Kung Fu Man is the character that came uh, pre-packaged with, like, the Mugen program, basically. So when you get Mugen, I don't know if you can even download it anymore off of, like, any sort of official site. But, because uh, didn't it just, like, stop getting support or something? Or maybe it... No, I don't think that's true. I actually don't know. But he's, like... Mugen is, like, a fighting game editor, basically, and he's, like, the default character in that. Nobody knows who made Mugen. Two. I'm pretty sure. Like, we just straight up don't know. They were never credited. Which is insane. He's just, like, draining health. Is that his gimmick? He just, like, slowly ticks down his health. And has to kill them. He's a super glass cannon. He's got Scarlet Rot. Well... Let's hope he can uh, pull his thumb out of his ass here. He missed twice. Very bad. Don't bow. <laughs> Don't bow till the fight is over. He's so fucked. He's cooked. Never cook again. He just disappeared. He went to hell. He went straight to hell. Ah, oh, damn. Damn, and that was an upset uh, against our favor, actually. Gohan, Salt Money, and Wabbit Season both uh, busted out the millions for that and lost. Uh, by the way, if you're ever looking for me, I'm King B on here. I guess you could put the numbers together. I got this little skeleton thing. And in chat, I would be Miss Bella Fruit because I'm using Bella's uh, Twitch account. <laughs> on here because I got banned for some reason that we've we've never known the reason exactly uh, but I am yes I am ban evading I'm sorry put me in jail I, I like salty bet I financially support it uh, I kind of think I got banned for like no reason I I heard people talking on here about how like a few years ago there was just like a massive purge of like a fuck ton of people and I think I might have just got hit by that this is a tough call I really don't like this guy. I, like, that's a Rochi, right? But for some reason it says Mizuchi. I don't know if that's like a thing. I, as always, don't nothing about 
uh, SNK stuff. I don't like him. I don't like that guy. He shows up too much for me to like him. Uh, at least. It might be just a hipster thing, so... We'll try her. Yeah, the ban was a... It was like a Twitch chat ban. Not a salty bet account ban. They're two different things. I would have been pretty sad if the ban also meant that I had to make a new account because, of course, I had a bunch of money on this account. Fake money. Wikipedia lists some names on uh, who created Mugen. Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, I haven't... I'm kind of just uh, parroting that, like, fun fact, open quotes, uh, without having done any actual research on it, even Googling the issue, so... <laughs> I theorized that it was because I uh, criticized something else that the Salty Bet creator made. What the fuck is happening? Nice Metal Slug explosion. I theorized that that's why I got banned, but in the end, I don't know. I think there's many reasons why I could have got banned. Uh, one of them possibly being that I streamed it, <laughs> because technically the, some of the information that appears on the left side of the screen here when the uh, the bets are going through is technically stuff that you're supposed to like pay to get, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like It's like I'm giving away that information for free that's normally behind a paywall. Capsule monster. But yeah, I mean, we've been over this a million times, uh, frankly. I don't really feel like getting into it uh, any more than that. Okay, well, we lost. We're on a negative two win streak. Fritz stage. So capsule monster is probably a Pokemon thing? I don't remember. Is it a Snorlax? Oh no, I don't think it is. No, it's not a Pokemon thing. It's this fucking guy. We're gonna go with that guy. We're just gonna do a little... We're just gonna do a little... We're just gonna do a little 100k, a small loan of $100,000. Very sad, many such cases. <laughs> I think that's closer. It's certainly not a good Trump. Sad. I tried to get clean footage of him just going wrong for a video recently, just like... I think I like said something in Lark Souls that was like an incorrect fact, and I just wanted to like... do a little quick insert of the famous, the infamous, iconic, uh, Donald Trump wrong clip. And I searched for so long and I could not find it because there is so much shit on the internet about Trump that, like, trying to find a specific Trump moment from, like, a half a decade ago is very, very difficult. I was like, isn't that, like, his iconic line? <laughs> you know? Okay, the odds are stacked as I thought they would be. That's that's why we put a small bet on here. But the reason it's small is because uh, Blue's probably going to get his ass whooped. It was from a debate with him and Hillary Clinton, yeah. I just couldn't find it. Yeah, exactly. Searching Trump wrong quote <laughs> is something... There's like 10 billion fucking results that can come up. Capsule Monster just swapped out for another guy. What the fuck? <laughs> I like the stage, weirdly enough. It's like... On paper, I feel like the stage is quite bad. But I, I enjoy its vibe. Damn. Yeah, he's like Pokemon trainer. Perhaps. I mean, I know capsule toys are, you know, a thing long before Pokemon. Kung Fu head! <laughs> oh my god, guys, and it's Gilgamesh, the uh, villain of the Smurfs. Holy shit, he's here. <laughs> As we discussed when we were talking about how Smurfette is like a fake Smurf. <laughs> uh... See, I'm seeing two plus twos, two minus twos. You would all be giving plus twos if you had watched the Yellow Taxi Goes Vroom streams. That's all I'm saying. Okay, Kung Fu Head, let's fucking go. 300k. Aw, oh, shit. 
you know, just because the song's coming up, we're going to bump that up to 600k. Dope fucking track. You gotta hand it to him. I'm not even into this series, but you gotta hand it to him. Yeah, it is Gargamel. Man, Gargamel is a great song by All These Fingers. Genuinely a great tune with, like, rap in it that I think was recorded originally for that song, I believe. Man, I haven't thought about that song in ages, but, like, when I hear the word Gargamel, that's what I, like, associate it with because I just don't know Smurf stuff. It's a, it's a cultural uh, gap for me. Okay, Kung Fu Head is doing good. He may not have limbs, but he's got gumption. I found the clip of him saying wrong if you want it. Still, I mean, the video is out by now. By the way, speaking of videos being out, I haven't been able to do much editing in the past week or so just because I've been living my damn life. I've been going outside and touching grass and dog sitting and looking at the fucking Aurora Borealis and playing video games with my lovely girlfriend. And I just... I haven't found the time to edit, so I'm sorry that I have just not been doing my fucking job. Uh, but I'm gonna get back on that real soon. Tonight. And tomorrow, there will be Peggle Dinners. You could have been spending that time learning Smurf lore. Frowny face. <sighs> thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of myself for living a... Uh, a, a normal kind of healthy sometimes going outdoors life for one week <laughs> the discord has been talking about other content creators doing a lot lately they're gonna leave you I mean if they gotta leave me they gotta leave me you are all you are all free to do whatever you want okay this guy on the right is crazy, right? Didn't we see him at one point and he like did he had some weird gimmick. I'm dr I find myself drawn to him. Even though he's a DMC looking ass. We'll go with him. And Orochi, she's got Orochi in her name. Pfft, wrong, wrong. Very bad, very wrong. Yo, Poggers, Giles theme goes with everything, guys. What the fucking Spider-Man gif on screen? You don't understand. If we leave, we're taking Shu in the divorce. They took the fucking rat. Bitch, you took the rat. <laughs> I need to clean his cage, like, real bad. I've neglected it for a day. And he shits so much. Shit so much. Oh, look at these fucking odds. My god. I figured it would be stacked, but even then I am surprised by 10 to 1 odds. Uh, it doesn't look like he's gonna do anything. I think the funny thing about this guy is that he has a super where he, like, talks for like an hour. No, yeah, he rips off his arm. That's what it is. He's not gonna fucking win, though. No way. Cool looking stage, though. Kinda makes me think of the Harry Potter PC games, which... A uh, little tangent, I made that stupid, so everybody was doing the, like, LeBron James, scream if you love blank, and then, ah, and then he does, like, a bunch of, th a lot of those edits were, like, really kind of, in my opinion, like, lame, <laughs> and so I was like, I'm gonna make a really fucking good one, I'm gonna make the first good one, with, like, the Harry Potter PC games, and then I posted it, and I, this is in no way intended to be, like, you know, directed rage at anybody or, like, disappointment that it didn't do anything. I guess, I, yeah, I was kind of disappointed. It it, it did no numbers. I, it was, like, one of the very few tweets where I was like, yeah, this tweet's probably going to do numbers. And, like, usually when I'm thinking that, I'm like, yeah, the, it, I'm usually right. <laughs> but then in that one, it very much did not. And, uh, you know, it, it I was... I was like, damn, maybe I don't have the sauce. I came out here, I was pretty confident that I was gonna make, like, the first of, like, banger one of these. Look at this. This is the kind of amazing shit you see in P tier. Mighty's gonna fucking wipe the floor with him. That's my prediction. He looks like a Goo Goo, but he isn't a Goo Goo. 
I'm sorry for not liking the video. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's nobody's fault but my own for uh, just a little bit of cockiness and overconfidence. But I tell you what, I had a lot of fun uh, sorting through. I literally like just went into like the resources folder for those games because I still have them on my computer. And I looked through all the like audio files and I found a bunch of weird stuff. And I, I found the textures of the game but I couldn't open the files, so I found this, like, kind of jank, uh... It was, like, an exporter for them. It was, like, a thing where you can, like, view these this specific, like, file type that was used with, like, the Epic Games engine or something. Or is the Unreal Engine, made by Epic Games. Uh... And it was really cool. I, like, found some... I, like, looked at the textures through this program, and I found some, uh... This is awesome, by the way. I found some leftover textures from Unreal games in the Harry Potter games. And I also found just like a bunch of weird stuff, some unused shit. There were some weird like photographs of like stoves and televisions and stuff in there for some reason, like real ass pictures that I assume were like reference art or something. Uh, it was very cool. I had a great time. And I posted some of my findings on Twitter in that thread. Uh, Shit's cool. Those games are actually, like, kind of great in a way for, like, shitty, uh... <laughs> they're, like, great shovelware, basically. Like, I, I accept that they are trash, but... Like, playing them, you're not gonna get a ton of joy out of it. But they had a lot of, like, work put into them, and some of the, uh... I may have nabbed some of the ambient noise and other, like, sound effect files from that game, because it's got some actually genuinely really great sound design, and, uh ambience some really good like spooky ambience in particular and music the gameplay is pretty mid you still have those fucked up models of you and lark from the intro of one of the hp pc videos uh, he probably has them somewhere i didn't make that intro uh he did he did if there's ever anything with like 3d models and stuff you know that's lark uh so you would have to ask him i assume he probably has them somewhere He's working on a TF2 video, by the way, uh, with him and I in it, and <laughs> nice. The, the odds were pretty stacked, though. It's pretty rare that you see people wail on a uh, P-tier like that. Dead Vega. I'm assuming this is going to be... I think Dead Vega is, like, you know, who we know as M. Bison. He's Dictator. Uh, and he... He did... Lark did some animations for the uh, TF2 video, of course. Because Source Filmmaker is his home field. He, like, messaged me with one of the edits that he made. And he was like, dude, they just... The edits just roll off of me here. Oh, shit. Okay. Man, Dead Vega, he really looks like he should be in, like, X tier. I'm gonna go with the fucked up little dumb sunfish, though. <laughs> Alright. Let's do... Let's do a kind of big bet. Whatever, right? Let's do, uh, like, half a million, roughly. April Fools should be wall-to-wall -wall P tier matches. Look, somebody said in the Salty Bet chat. I would be so down for that because P tier has so many funny fucking characters in it. I saw the Android logo, like the little Android mascot show up earlier. I was kind of sad. There were some really cool matchups that uh, happened, like, right as I was, like, getting ready to stream this. I was sad that, you know, I couldn't just pause it and show you guys some really cool, like, there was one that where it was, like, two big monsters, and, like, the one on red side was red, and the one on blue side was blue, and they were, like, on top of a mountain with a bunch of, like, lightning around them. It was very cool. But now we can enjoy this cool fish. I'm fucking excited for the TF2 video, uh... And we've also got Gexuma working on a window kill video. Uh... So, many things to look forward to. And after this Peggle Dinners video, for whatever reason, uh... I felt like it should have been a breezy edit, but it just took me a really long time to get out. It Partially just because, like, I kept doing real-life stuff. Yesterday, my aunt had me over for spaghetti. <laughs> Which was awesome. Uh, but we're gonna- I'm gonna try to pick up the pace with the edits after, uh, we get the Peggle Dinners video out. 
And the Peckle Dinners, I'm, you know, I don't want to, like, LeBron myself here, but, uh, I figure it'll probably do pretty well in terms of views. So it might make up for somewhat the lack of activity on my channel, uh, as of late. In the month of April, I posted two Rhythm Heaven remixes and one the Lark Souls or the Lark and Ring finale and nothing else. Okay, she's OP as fuck. He is a snow wolf. This might even be the one that we've had, like, get us a crazy upset before. I'm actually going to make just a normal kind of sizable bet on him. Because snow wolves sometimes, like, pull a victory out of their asses. She's a beast, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Peggle Dinners will do pretty good. Uh, Peggle's what I'm known for. There have been a few times where Isabel will be like, Oh yeah, I was talking to a friend and they told me that they, like, have seen your channel. And usually they say, Oh yeah, I saw him play Peggle. <laughs> it's just, and it's partially because there's a few videos on my channel that are Peggle that have a ton of views, but also the fact that then I just kept doing more Peggle because people kept requesting it and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do more Peggle. <laughs> oh, look at this. Going pretty good so far. Don't want to jinx it. Uh, but... <sighs> I will basically, like... I mean, the stuff that people have sent in for me to play in terms of, like, Peggle hacks has been very fucking good. Look at how little damage she's doing to him. That combo damage reduction is brutal. She's basically doing nothing. That's insane, that's like after the first hit, it goes down to like almost nothing. Okay, do a super insta-kill. She's in hit stun. Please. This is the Snow Wolf special right here. Very nice, now do it again. Do it again. LeBron, scream if you love grapefruit. Sand flies, scream. <sighs> So, uh, I I'm fine with being associated with Peggle. I'm fine with playing, uh, a lot of Peggle. I think, you know, basically any Peggle levels that are sent in to me, I'll play them. And, like, I guess I'll say that with the, like, if you try to, okay, round three. If you try to, like, toe the line and be like, oh, I'll make something that's, like, just on the limit of, like, something that he'd be willing to play, you know, I'll test, oh, you'll play anything, Grayfruit, oh, well, I'll test that theory. If you make something, like, obnoxious, I won't play it, but, uh, I'll play basically anything <laughs> if it's, if it's Peggle, because, like, I'm, I don't mind, it's a fun game, people like to watch it, it's a win-win. I kind of thought it might be in Earl's wheelhouse to do a LeBron Scream If You Love Peggle video, but, uh, you know, I think he, he maybe was, uh, above it. <laughs> Alright, Magma Dragon, no. No, Magma Dragon, no. Fuck. It took a game. You saw the, uh... You saw the potential there. Uh, yeah, when you lose all your money on Salty Bet, you get a bailout amount. I was talking about this earlier. So there's, like, basically a point where... If you go all in, then they give you, like... I think when you're starting out, they give you, like, a hundred bucks back or something. Uh, and then the more you bet, you gain experience, and, uh... That number sort of slowly crawls up. For me, it's about... I don't know, maybe like 5,000 or something? At least I've made thousands and thousands and thousands of bets, like I've been playing this game for like 10 years. <laughs> On and off, of course. Uh, okay. Uh, not a big fan of either of these. The red and blue are reversed, which is just... Just shameful. We're gonna go for Iori. Just because I think he might be upset odds, and like, Iori... I tend to bet against him out of a personal distaste. But, uh, he wins a lot. He wins a lot. <sighs> and then, yeah, your your bailout amount does get, uh, increased if you buy salty gold. And I think if you buy the year's worth of salty gold, they just give you, or maybe a lifetime, uh, supply or something, they give you, like, 600k salt. I think. They just give you, like, a one-time cash injection, basically. Okay, Iori was not the upset odds, because everybody knows Iori kicks ass on here. He's so cool. 
And then as has been well documented, you can also get salt by playing the completely unrelated bad game <laughs> waifu wars. Just tempting fate here. Oh, and she took round two. Wow, that was kind of surprising. She is a 70% win rate in S tier. I mean, 76, I think. So it might be a close one. Good damage. Love that move where he just takes off half her health bar. Very cool. Is she slow healing too? Nice. Okay. It was safe. Uh, Bjorn Lin. Bad boy Boggy B. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? Oh, these are both King of Fighters characters, right? Uh, Jin... Uh, are the Jin bros from... King of Fighters, or is it a different SNK thing? Someone you want to use, one of you crazy guys gotta know. OMG, Bjorn! <laughs> Jin is Tekken? I don't think he's either, actually, or is he? Uh. Mine's from Fatal Fury. Oh man, that's true. I was fucking <clears throat> Omega wrong. <sighs> okay. So, uh, any of you guys been keeping up with My Hero Academia? <laughs> I know this might be a jarring thing to hear Grandpa Grapefruit bring up, but that is a show that Isabel and I keep up on. Uh, Pretty fucking cool last couple of episodes, honestly. It's, uh, that show's been up and down for me. It's definitely a very, like... It's, like, light entertainment for me. Like, I don't really have as deep of an appreciation for it as I do for even something like JoJo's. Which I also think, in a way, is kind of light entertainment. She is getting bodied. Holy shit. But the last couple episodes, actually, like, uh, there was... The stuff before this, I was kind of like, okay, whatever. You're kind of losing me, My Hero Academia. But the stuff with the big buff America lady fighting in the sky, that shit was banger. If anybody knows... If, 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 I just got a huge wave of, like, no's in chat when I said any of y'all been watching that. So, maybe I won't talk about it very much. But it was good. It was genuinely quite good. There's a lot of, like, annoying characters on My Hero Academia. The villains, like, half of the fucking villains in that show are, like, the super, like, fucking... I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, and if you like these characters, don't take this the wrong way. Super fucking, like, cringe edgelords, basically. <laughs> and I kinda, like, the show focuses so much on them that, uh, it can get a little obnoxious sometimes. But I like, I, I enjoy, for the most part, the main cast. Like, the, the students at the school and the teachers and stuff. They're very cool. And all the random little heroes. I kind of love the world of that show, where, like, a bunch of random people, like, I don't remember what the percentage is. It's like 80% of all people have some sort of weird mutation or power, even having just useful ones. It's like if in JoJo's, everybody had a stand but some of them were just useless, you know? Okay, well, would you look at that? We won. That was awesome. We're climbing slowly back up. I think I dipped above, oh, I, I briefly went above 20 million. That's like roughly my record. So if we can get 21 million, I'll be super happy. PB. Uh. Cringe Edgelords and Dr. Doofenshmirtz. There is a guy who is like Omega badass anime Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Like he just looks like him. Very funny. Extremely funny. I also enjoy how weird some of the powers are. Like one of the kids at the school can shoot tape out of his elbows. <laughs> That's his only power. And it's like really strong tape but he has tape elbow. Everybody knows, it's like, ah, you know, in every superhero team, you gotta have your strong guy. You gotta have your elemental. You gotta have your speedster. And of course, who could forget tape elbows? She's losing, bad. Oh, hell yeah. I love this mix of this uh, Street Fighter 3 song, I believe. This is Yun and Yang stage. Yeah, I guess, you know, Tape Elbow is tangential to, like, a Spider-Man ability. 
She's like draining health. She like ran out of health, but she still won. What the fuck was that? That was awesome. <laughs> There's a few like I should write down all the like ASCII characters and make like an ASCII exhib. I think that might be fun. Because there's a few characters that are like this. I think Mr. Ganon is the same way, right? Let me just write this down, actually. I'm going to put it on my uh, phone. You know, what's a show that I... And this is like... This is the, the most, like, non-information of all time. I have no desire to watch uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. It looks like... It has a similar amount to My Hero Academia of, like, edgelords. <laughs> and maybe I'm totally fucking wrong on that. Every time I see a clip from that show, it makes me not want to watch it. <laughs> and I'm, that's pure childish bias. I have no rationale for it whatsoever. I just violently don't vibe with it for whatever reason. I really want to watch uh, the Dungeon Meishi, though. That looks cool. It looks funny and interesting. Uh, oh, Wraith, he's from uh, Saturday Night Slam Masters. Look at this fucking stage. I so wish you could request stages and exhibitions. It would be so awesome. It would be so cool. I gotta go with my man, the Wraith. We're not gonna bet a ton. Uh, the, the odds are probably gonna be pretty stacked, but I do think he's gonna win. Frankly. Even in death, one plate is still m missing? Mess? Missing? That font is fucked up. What did they do to you? Somebody said I don't understand the appeal of JJK even after reading five volumes. I should check out Chainsaw Man too. Mob Psycho. Dude, somebody in chat said Mob Psycho is peak. That's how you get me to clap. That's how you bring out my inner seal. I clap for that. Mob Psycho is fucking peak. And it didn't like- oh look, plates. She's got a plates meter, what the fuck? Plates themed? Very cool, huh? Weird. I'm just sorry, a burp just came out of my mouth. I'm really sorry about that. <sighs> That's so gross. Oh, there's the foosh sound from Doom. Like, imp fireball sound. Mob Psycho is just unbelievably good. Huge recommend, of course, if you haven't seen it. Oh my god. It's one of those, like, I, a lot of times, and I know it's just, like, kind of culture shock, but a lot of times when you're watching, or when I'm watching, like, anime, sometimes I, found, I find that, like, the anime tropiness of it kind of brings it down. I think Red wins here. Damn it. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> Alright, Wraith, just get in and get, like, two good hits. And then defend the whole rest of the game. Please. He's not smart enough. A lot of Salty Bet, like, uh, Mugen AI, have this problem where if a projectile's on screen at all, they'll just hold block. And they don't... Uh, jumping over projectiles can be difficult for them. Which is fine, it's, like, hard to make AI for that. Frankly, I think. Probably. But, uh, Mob Psycho is one of those ones where it doesn't even feel like it has the, like, negative tropes of anime, you know? Like, I've been watching Haikyuu, which is that volleyball anime. Uh, it's very good. I'm enjoying it a lot. But even that kind of has... There's always, like... Anime always have to be, like, so fucking long. And, uh, they always have to have that kind of, like, episodic feel to them where, uh... Even if there's, like, a big... There'll be, like, a big, long, continuing arc, but every episode has to have the, like, rising and falling action, you know, basically. And it can get a little tiring and, and feel kind of phony sometimes. Uh, but Mob Psycho just feels like an amazing, totally fresh show. It was like... I remember really liking One Punch Man when it, the anime for that was made. And just, like, the first season. And I was like, this is really great, but, like, it's still kind of got that, like... Because it's, like, making fun of anime tropes. It's still got that, like, anime tropiness to it. And, uh... Oh, this is the lesbian, <laughs> by the way. And it's not the one you're probably thinking. Uh... It just didn't feel like that. It had it was bogged down by any sort of, like, tropey stuff. It was just simply a great animated series. Uh... The one on the left, I believe, has a super where she, like, summons her girlfriend or something, and they make out. <laughs> 
the power of love. <coughs> good old fucking made by good old Manny Lingle. Who could forget? You literally just finished watching Mob Psycho an hour ago. That's funny. So fucking good. Great intros on Mob Psycho 100. All three of them are great, but like especially the first one. One thing I really been, have been enjoying about Haikyuu is that it's like, and I, I don't, I've never, I know sports anime is like this huge genre that's got like a ton of different examples, but I don't know if this is like a thing just throughout sports anime or if it's, uh, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> so many things. Uh, I like that they show very frequently the perspective of the opponents. And it's not like the opponents are just these, like, jeering villains who are just, like, constantly one-upping how evil they are. It's like, they're just other people, and they have their own- oh, there's the love. <laughs> they just have their own stories, and they have their own reasons for acting the way that they do. And they're shown as sympathetic, you know, and as, like, equals. It's very cool. Very, very cool. I gotta drink water, my voice is hoarse. <laughs> These bitches gay. So true. That was just one round. It's because these fuckers, they all have these supers where it's like, look at my cool character, for like a full second, and it pauses the timer. So it made one round last fucking forever. <clears throat> what is that hair thing they did? I think they have some kind of like, mildly anthropomorphic feature. Where they have like, ears, I think. Because their hair, it does, it, it like flaps. It's not looking too good for red here, fellas. Love loses. <laughs> Love loses today. Love takes a fat L. <laughs> yeah, look at them wiggling their ears. <laughs> and that just heals. It heals and it has a it has a hitbox. It's so funny. Like, the timer is just paused for all of this. <laughs> There's one character on here that's like a VTuber, which is really funny because, like, she must be one of the most recent additions, because there haven't been new characters added to Salty Bet in, like, years. Uh, but there's a VTuber on here who has, like, a million different, like, moves that pause the timer and make you watch some little dumb cutscene. And that's one that, like, when it shows up in exhibitions, it's like, ah, well, it's like, you know, two of, it's like four characters, all of which have, like, really long super animations, and, like, two of them are the VTuber. Aja Murakai. Time to get copyright struck. Uh, Cheap Chomp, we like. I'll do a million on Cheap Chomp. I will. They just keep doing it. <laughs> uh. Jameer Kai is amazing. I've not listened to a ton of his music, but uh, Isabel and I are Jameer Kai hipsters. We liked, we loved Virtual Insanity and all that other shit uh, long before it became a meme. Oh, this is like a remix. Right? Yeah, Funk Fiction. I didn't even realize. We know Funk Fiction. Yeah, I know this song, the original. All right, we'll do a million on Cheap Chomp versus this melty blood looking ass. I love that Cheap Chomp fills the room with water and there's also water in the background so we can extrapolate that that's like Goo Lagoon and Spongebob. Yeah, it's the band, not the guy. Yeah, I know. I misspoke. And like I said, I mean, I don't know much. I clearly don't know much. But, uh, wasn't there a song by them in, uh, Elite Beat Agents, I want to say, or, or something like that? Oh, he is getting slaughtered. God damn it.
Canned Heat. That's a banger. That is a fucking banger. Yep. We lost the mill. Cheap Chomp got hard countered by this schlub. He's just twitching on the surface of the water. Waifu Suzu. Is Misuzu, uh... The lady with the big long fingernails? Maybe I'm thinking of someone totally different. There's also Chizuru, who's different. Totally different. I mean, it's just a character with a Z in her name. I don't know what to expect here. Oh, yeah! We've seen her. She's awesome! 800k. On, on the large lady. She's fucking awesome. I remember her kind of being, like, surprisingly effective, too. Despite having a 41% win rate. What if she's an S-tier demote? Cope, 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 cope. This is a cool stage, too. Makes me think of Super Monkey Ball, like, too. She went ape shit. All right. We'll probably be able to tell within the first few seconds. Uh, uh, maybe it'll be more of an even. Uh, I thought it would maybe be really one sided. Oh, in fact, people. Blue is the majority bet. People know she kicks ass. She shows up in exhibitions quite a bit. Not like a ton, but sometimes. Because any character that's got, like, fucking gigantic tits shows up in exhibitions a lot, and then everybody in the chat goes, <gasps> Booba! And then it's... Everybody laughs and claps. She just does so much damage. That's why... There's, like, certain characters that are just, like, upset machines. If you just have, like, the right amount of aggression it, it, with, like, certain moves and a huge amount of damage. Like, sometimes even if you get, you know, if your AI is so dumb you get, like, bullied in a corner like that, you can still pull victories out of your ass. Looks like she's fucked for this round, though. <laughs> she's an R. Crumb, Robert Crumb character. Yeah. She'd need to be, like, meaner to be a Robert Crumb character. Fucking Fever Dream Johnny tweeted out, uh, who is the Robert Crumb of game dev <laughs> the other day? And I responded with what I thought was actually a pretty good response. Uh, Jazuo, the creator of Sexy Hiking. Oh, it might be Jover, that sucks. <gasps> yeah, the tits! She sealed the deal with the tits. Oh my God. Literally knocked her cold, like out cold, with hitting her with the tits. That was a good sentence, right? I did good. Trevor Spacey. This is Kevin's brother, right? Dude, one thing that I fucking hated in Animal Well. Anybody else uh, get the K medal? Anybody else know what I'm talking about? I just want to wait and see if anybody in chat even knows what I'm talking about. And I won't go any further if uh, this is not a thing. Oh. Metal Slug. <laughs> Wait, but is that not Ralph? What do you mean Trevor Spacey? Is that a Metal Slug character? Huh. Well, let's go with Trevor. Why not? Uh, sorry, I'm typing around my water bottle here. I'm blind. He's from Metal Slug 4? Yeah, he's not Ralph. I remember there being a couple of Metal Slug games where, like, they were just like, here's our new OCs, and also King of Fighters characters. And I was like, what? <sighs> yeah, K-Metal. It didn't show up, had to go on a wild fucking goose chase and then look it up. Fuck the K-Metal. Exactly. Oh my god, it pissed me off so much. That's like, K-Metal is like the worst part of that game by far. And there's a couple other things later on in the game where it's like, even if you're going for like, you know, what I've sometimes termed as like, reasonable full clear, where it's like you're not actually getting everything, but you get like a satisfying 
sort of like, you got all the, like, normal collectibles type of thing. <laughs> Thank you, oh my god. It's a POW. That's adorable. First time a POW has ever been called adorable. Uh, yeah. There's some stuff where it's like if you want completion or if you want certain items, you just have- there's like cryptic-ass bullshit. I feel like the game explicitly expects you- or maybe not explicitly, but like, the game seems like it expects you to look shit up online at a certain point. There are some puzzles, uh, not to spoil too much, that can only be solved with online cooperation. Uh, or like collaboration, like looking shit up, basically. Literally can only be solved by doing that. And so... That part of the game is kind of whack to me. Galmer Corpse! Galmire Corpse, I love this fucking one. We're doing a million on them. It is, and I'm gonna prep you for this, for what you're about to see. It's like gigantic Star Wars toys from the 70s from like Soviet Russia or some shit. It's like actually insane. This is a goo goo, right? Or wait, it's not a goo goo? What? I always thought this was a fucking goo goo. Well, we're gonna vote on them. We got fucking Ar Arkanoid Brunstoid on, on the left side here, but, uh... I wouldn't have betted for her anyway, even if it wasn't Galmire Corpse. Corpse. Now that Hades 2 is in early access, would you consider playing Hades 1? I was kind of wondering, I actually meant- thank you for reminding me, because I meant to ask, uh, my, my lovely chat. Would it be- is that the sort of thing where I could just hop right into 2? Like, is 2... I really don't know much about 2. Is it basically one of those things where it's just, like, a better version of 1? Or is it actually, like, a follow-up? Definitely not. You could. Helps to know the backstory, but you can jump in. It'd be wise to play the first game before. Okay. I'm not against playing the original. I've heard it's very good. Uh, look what's happening here, by the way. Very cool. Very good and cool. Cool and good. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not against playing the first one. I, it's just not a high priority for me for whatever reason. I don't know why. The games that I decide to play on stream are, like, very arbitrary sometimes. It's just, like, literally whatever I'm feeling like. Uh... But know that I'll probably touch Hades at some point. Touch Hades nuts. It would be like not playing Pikmin 1 before Pikmin 2. I guess that makes sense. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd probably do. I'd probably go for 1 at first. Before doing 2. Uh... Guys, we might be getting a fat paycheck here if this keeps going the way it's been going. She seems very confused, as a lot of people do against this character. I believe they only take damage if Darth Vader gets hit. I don't even know. Actually, are they toys from the 70s? I always... Their hands look like a sickle, and that might literally be why I was like, Oh, they're from toys from Soviet Russia, but that might be completely made up. They just have like a 70s look to them. I mean, I know Star Wars only existed for three of the 70s, so... <laughs> Maybe that's wrong. Rude Spawn versus the Mima. Oh my god, Mima from Toho. Could be Poggers. This might be my one to who, uh, loyalty to Mima, arbitrarily, who I don't remember anything about, basically. Besides having a slightly funny name. Oh, but rude spawn. He's so rude. That's not even what she looked like, is it? This is a different Tuhu Mima? <laughs> We're gonna go for rude spawn. I'm sorry. Just like a normal bet, I think. I don't feel too strongly about either of these. That is not what damn Mima looked like in the, like, PC-98 ones. What makes him rude? I mean, Spawn is typically rude, right? That's, like, kind of one of his things. He's a bit of- I mean, frankly, he's quite a by-the-books definition edgelord. I don't think anyone would argue that. We'll see, though. 
suffer. <laughs> wanna die, wanna die, wanna die, wanna die. I guess that's why that's how he's rude. <laughs> he's 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 one of those fucking fighting game characters that's just blah blah blah. Yap yap yappity yap. Can't shut the fuck up when they're doing their combos. <laughs> wanna die, wanna die. Wanna die, wanna die, wanna die. Wanna die. <laughs> yeah, even when he gets hit, he goes like, uh, uh, uh. Okay. Doing pretty good. I'm glad I did not vote for the Mima. I mean, his win rate was very high. And we are not even... <laughs> I swear he said giggity in there. Nice. Psychonauts 2 boss fight. <laughs> the odds were not great, so we didn't make much money there. Which I know some of you may think, well, oh, well, that's when you gotta, like, bet a ton of money, but it's just not worth the risk. <gasps> Norimaru. Norimaru here. UMVC 3 Norimaru. Styled to be, to play as though he was in, in MVC 3, I guess. He's from, uh, 1, I believe. MVC 1. Might even be from X-Men vs. Street Fighter, actually. Now that I really think about it. Or maybe it's Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter? Fuck. And Turf! Oh my god, this is awesome. We love both of these. This is like a DeviantArt-ass uh, pixel art. That is so, like, 2010's core. We're gonna go for Norimaru. I think I've seen him on here, and he's always been a disappointment. But we're still gonna go for him. Because fuck it. He's like a low S tier. It's Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter? Okay. I got there eventually. <laughs> if anybody didn't watch the Street Fighter series or doesn't know this, Norimaro is from... Oh, there's a Robo Goki. Cyber Akuma. Uh, sorry, Mech Goki Cyber Akuma. Uh, in Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, which is a precursor to MVC. Why were there two of him? Does he have himself as an assist? Oh shit. The raging demon. Uh, <laughs> there's Alice or whatever from, uh, whatever her name is from Darkstalkers. He's like a secret character who's based on like a real guy that's like a Japanese comedian who had like a radio show or something. And, like, as a gimmick joke thing, it was just like, oh, there's, like, this, you know, all-star lineup of Marvel superheroes versus Street Fighter. Everyone wants to see this happen. And also there's Norimaro, but he was only in the Japanese version. He never, he was in the files for the uh, U.S. version, but he got patched out. His spot on the character select screen has, like, the logo for the game instead of his face in the U.S. version, which is funny. And in the fucking files for the U.S. version, there's evidence that they were thinking about bringing him over to the U.S., but decided against it. Uh, one of his supers got nerfed because it has a- it's like a thing that, like, flashes through, like, a bunch of different frames of things happening. And one of the frames included him, like, naked in the bath, like, scrubbing himself. And they took that out, and it, like, literally just makes the move worse. They nerfed it by censoring it. It's one of my favorite Street Fighter, uh, fun facts of all time. It's so ridiculous. It's so, that's like as niche as like Street Fighter information gets. It's like literally completely useless. Okay, well, just don't get hit by like two raging demons, please. And you should be good. Oh, that thwomp slam really fucked him up. He's getting hit by every single raging demon. Damn. Jobbed again. He sucks. They, uh, Buffalo. Huh. I've even, I remember seeing, like, pictures and, like, video, there was, like, footage of that guy that Norimaru is based off of, like, dressed up in that costume, like, at Capcom Studios, like, posing for artists and stuff. Very strange. Very weird gimmick. I, like, you truly, like, I want to know, like, how the fuck did they arrive at the decision to do that? 
did he approach Capcom? Did Capcom approach him? I would love to know more details. And might I say, like, the comedian, there's obviously a language barrier, so maybe this is just my, like, unfair judgment of him, but he seemed profoundly, like, unfunny, <laughs> too. Don't want to be a hater. Again, it's probably just because I don't understand Japanese, but... Which, in a way, makes it funnier to me. He has a black pixel on his nose I keep trying to squash. It's a mole. He's got, like, a gigantic fake mole, I think. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I need to blow my nose. Oh, we got a yeller. We got a yeller in here. Oh, that's badass. He summons a fucking totem pole. Is this guy from that game... There was that dude who looked like an aviator, and it kind of looked like he had, like, a gigantic schlong in his pants. Is this guy from that same game? He's got, like, kind of the same style. I don't remember what the hell that game was, but... Uh, this is pretty even. Oh, he summoned a buffalo. Like you do. I mean, how could be... How, uh, being a guy called Buffalo in a fighting game, how could you not have a move where you summon a Buffalo, right? Okay, I, I feel I feel pretty confident that he's probably gonna get this. Okay, or you know, the instant I say that, he could just start taking a bunch of damage. It could be pretty cool. So, I'm sorry to anybody who thought I was going to maybe stream Animal, Animal Well, by the way. Uh, Isabel and I just kind of ended up playing it together off stream, and we had a hoot. And I'm kind of glad I didn't play it on stream, frankly. The first part of that game would have been really annoying with, like, people basically backseating. I don't mean to, like, whine about something that didn't actually happen. Imagine something and then get mad at it. But I imagine it would have been a lot less pleasant. Because there were a bunch of... Isabel and I had, had a bunch of, like fantastic like emergent gameplay moments or like things where we just discovered stuff totally naturally without having someone go there's a tile in here that has a thing behind it you know power instinct he's from power instinct okay i don't think that's the same game as the guy with the giant schlong uh well you know he's probably fucked actually he's in the corner and he's got no health Yikes, dude. You know when they show the album art with the panty shot of the unrelated anime girl character? That's when it's over. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve? Like... That twelve? Normally when you're saying that twelve... It's, like, spelled out like a word, not just the number. I don't know if I've ever seen Street Fighter 3 12 on here. Oh, shit, you know, hey, this is pretty badass, actually. I like this. Let's go with, uh, you know, normally I have kind of Mortal Kombat loyalty on here because they're usually just insane, and I don't have high hopes for 12 winning this. Let's bet for 12. Just a 200k. 200k. He's doing the- for some reason, his idol pose became a meme, like, a few years back, right? I don't really know why. I mean, it's a kind of funny pose. I always talk about how, like, well-animated the clothes in Street Fighter 3 are, and, uh, 12 is a fun character because he doesn't have any. He's naked. <laughs> they got to really have fun with that. And I genuinely do like the way he's animated, of course. Yeah, Mortal Kombat characters, man. They usually kick fucking ass on here. I don't even like Mortal Kombat, like, at all. Yeah, oh, it's over. It's completely over. Look, he just did his, like, max damage combo. No, he should have done, uh... That's not at all what it is, actually. His best combo involves hitting you once with fucking EX Squidward arms and then backing off. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, you know, uh, turn invisible, very cool, very useful against an AI that can probably see you regardless. 
We'll parry. You know, this game is closer. Nice. Cool. That should have been a stun when he grabbed him there. Nice. Well, he actually took a game. I can't believe uh, that happened. <laughs> is he faster than normal? I believe on Salty Bet, Mugen has like a speed setting and it's set to like the fastest. Uh, so that might be why you're thinking that. Eh, it's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Finish him. Okay. Yeah, that actually kind of worked out. That fucking animation of him, like, deflating is great. I think that's actually his timeout animation, isn't it? Or one of them? Godzilla Tower. Oh, God. Yeah, see, I should have bet for, uh, fucking Mortal Kombat. They're, especially in, like, B tier, they're, like, huge upset kings and queens. And Vemperers. Okay. Ho ho ho! We got some freaks here! Twin Tail. So, Godzilla Tower... Oh my god, look at that cute little turtle. Godzilla Tower fucking sucks. He's, like, abysmal. But in B tier, he, like, occasionally gets crazy wins because he just, like, breaks an enemy's AI, basically. We're just gonna do a safe bet on Godzilla Tower and hope for an upset. Godzilla Tower does not move at all, and he can only shoot in front of him. So if your opponent can't figure out to jump over you and hit you from behind, like Wiz Khalifa, or whatever, what, hit, hit the from behind, do the dab like Wiz Khalifa, is that what the, is that a fucking Tuhu, like, <laughs> intro screen there? No way, right? So if the enemy just gets stunned by his lasers in the front and can't figure out to jump over him, then uh, we're basic basically Gucci. Hey, you know, he might outrace him in terms of damage too, we'll see. The odds are pretty cool. Oh my god. It's fucking loads of money. I associate this so heavily with Trade Abstract 2. This was one of the songs that played on that TF2 trade map. What the fuck was that? Is that what that guy's supposed to look like? <laughs> I did not like that. Okay, look, this is the potential uh, rare Godzilla Tower dub. It's just, if this thing jumps over him at any point, he's fucked. Shut your mouth and look at my wall! Okay, sadly he's doing a lot of damage to Godzilla Tower. He saved up all his meter and used it. What is this, like, smoke move that he's suddenly doing? There was a room in Trade Abstract 2 that, like... It was like if you walked into a certain area, you'd get put into, like, the idiot room. And it was a room with, that you can't escape, and every once... It, it would, like, constantly play that song, and it was like the room was, like, full of, like, money and gold. But, uh, you know, it's a lesson. You can't have the money and gold. You're just trapped in there until the song cycles around to this part where it goes, SHUT YOUR MOUTH AND LOOK AT MY WAD! And then it explodes everybody in the room. It was amazing. Okay. Hell yeah, Godzilla Tower. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard this part of the song. <laughs> That was awesome. See, that's- I believed in Godzilla Tower against that guy. If it had been against, like, a Melty Blood character or something, I probably wouldn't have believed in him, or like a KOF or Street Fighter character. But against that freak, I don't know if that thing could even jump at all. Okay, we got this paper guy versus- is she a Persona character? She looks like she's from the Persona fighting game, but I don't know. We're gonna go with the paper guy. We're gonna we're gonna do that. Just a 272 644. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> That's a cool weapon you got there, uh, for sure. Shut your mouth! <laughs> 
<laughs> These paper characters by Rakurai usually do quite well. They have a tendency to be kind of uh, glitchy sometimes, but also kind of overpowered. Yeah, this part of the song I remember really fucking clearly. We've reached the part that plays on loop in the uh, the idiot room. Oh, no, but it's ending. Maybe it's just like that couple of like riffs. Okay, well that was a clean first round. The odds are seven to one because other people also know that these paper characters usually do pretty well. What I heard is that, like, these characters are made in a new, uh, like, a slightly new version of Mugen, and sometimes it can be a little buggy because new Mugen has functionality that old Mugen does not. And this is running in, like, the old Mugen engine. Okay. That was good. We didn't make, like, basically anything. Oh my god, Suther. Suther is funny, isn't it? The name rings a bell. I, like, got dopamine delivered into my fucking brain when I saw that. But I don't remember what they do. This is, uh, shinobi music. It's gotta be. Surely. Which is, uh, Shinobi's a series with great fucking music. Like, Shinobi 3 is, like, a shockingly good soundtrack for, like, what the fucking Genesis. Oh, yeah, this guy's got a fucking car. Oh, man, versus one of these jank common riders. This guy's... No, we're going Suther. We're going Suther. I'm Sooth-saying right now. In fact, is this even the one... Maybe he's not funny. Maybe he literally is just, like, the HNK guy. I believe it is Mugen. I used to say Mugen. Uh, but I I was corrected to Mugen. Oh my god, this music. This is uh, like some Sonic Casino music, right? The dreamy stage. What game is this from? Like Adventure 2 or something? I, I have a very distinct memory of this song. It's when uh, Sonic Adventure 1. Cool. Uh... When I was visiting- whoa. That's cool. Cool infinite, dude. <laughs> when I was in Michigan most recently and we were visiting Isabel's family, uh, I got extremely sick. Like, some of the sickest I've ever been in my life. This was when I composed the Plague Doctor tweet in a delirious haze. Uh, we were going back, you know, we were like driving to the airport, and by the way, when I was in the airport in the airplane, I was masked up and I was very fucking fastidious about- is that how that word is used? I was very vigilant about constantly like hand sanitizing and keeping- like, I'm not gonna fucking cancel the flight because I'm sick, and I'm sorry if that makes me an asshole, but I was very careful uh, about spreading sickness. And, uh, but I had a horrible, horrible disease, and uh, Isabel's brother is driving us to the airport, and Isabel is, like, talking with her brother about, like, Sonic, and, or something, and they bring up this song, and they're like, oh yeah, we should listen to this song, and Isabel's brother put a 30-minute extended version of this song on the speakers in the car, and I was in the back seat, and I was sitting there, like, struggling to, like, remain conscious, basically, and just miserable, just feeling like the worst I've ever felt. And there was a speaker, like, right near my fucking head. Right near my ear. And they were blasting this song. And I, like, kind of couldn't even, like, muster the strength or, like, the gumption to be like, Hey, could we turn this down? Or after about ten minutes of this song playing on loop, uh, go like, Hey, could we listen to something else? <laughs> it drove me insane. It was lit. I was in hell. I was in hell. We're gonna go with Takuma. Takuma Matata. Uh, Takuma, Xi, take us above 20 mil. Do it. Fastidious. For some reason, actually, that's a word that I've only ever heard. I definitely thought it started with a V, not an F. I definitely said, like, fastidious. <laughs> that fucking noise. <laughs> Oh, 
It was like, legitimately, it was awful. It traumatized me. So whenever I hear that song now, I'm like, oh god. I start having the flashbacks. Okay, Takuma, so go ahead and just hit him once. So go ahead and just hit him one time, Takuma. You know how you hit him like 50 times? Thank you. By the way, speaking of like feeling sick, uh, after I played Extreme Evolution Drive to Divinity for one stream, the entire rest of that day, I kind of felt like shit. And maybe it was just a coincidence, maybe it was something that I ate or something, but I choose to believe that, like, the game had a very adverse physical effect on me. I, my body rejected it. It was a cool game, I'm gonna play more of it. But I felt sick the whole fucking rest of the day when that happened. Damn, that was a big upset, too! I mean, pretty big. We made, like, half a mil off that. We're at fucking... 20 mil. Grapefruit, what is the longest word you know? I mean, I know the, like, gay-ass, uh, like, fear of long words one. Hippopotamonstrosa squipedaliophobia. Hippopotamonstrosa squipedaliophobia. I committed some time to, uh, remembering that in, like, junior high, because I thought it was the funniest thing ever. I might be getting a, a syllable or two wrong in there, but I think I'm, like, spot on. It's the fear of long words. <laughs> Whatever guy came up with that should fucking die. I hope he's dead. <laughs> oh, this stage is badass. Too bad it's Kyo and a common rider that looks like shit. <sighs> All right, I I feel pretty safe in saying this is probably the highest that my salt level has been in this game. Oh, and then I've been pretty salty before. <laughs> It's made up? Is it actually completely made up? It very well may be. I remember, like, looking up, like, going down a rabbit hole of, like, what's the longest word ever? And it, I remember finding this thing that was, like, literally, like, ten pages long. Like, one word. And it was, like, there was just, like, a really specific kind of, like, it was, like, a protein sequence or something for, like, scientists to use. Uh, I don't know if that counts at all, but I remember seeing that on a website at one point and being like, Oh, I gotta remember that! <laughs> I'm believing in Kamen Rider here, uh... I don't know why. <laughs> Kyo's very attentive. What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? It looked like blue got hit, but somehow that did damage to red. Did you like how that damage just melted right off of him? Do you remember what I said about Kamen Riders being jank? This is what I'm talking about. They'll just do bullshit like that randomly. Well, if that's not the long- if that's not like a real word, let's just like, say that's not a real word. I guess I would- I would have to get into like, counting letters, <laughs> and I don't really want to do that. Salaciousness, uh, that's not even close, I mean... Uh, what's like a really good one? Oh, look! Do it, please! He missed! He missed and it might literally be over for him because of that. Because his AI is very stupid. Nice! Oh, yeah, anti-disestablishmentarianism. That's... that's a common one. I didn't really know actually what it meant. It's a term for using... for separated... separating church and state in Britain. Okay. Yeah, I would probably... that's... that's like... that's one that like my parents taught me. Because they also thought that was funny. Because I get my personality from my parents. <laughs> Oh, this stage again. We, like, just saw this recently. Okay. Uh... This is not the Piccolo that swept that one tournament, but we're still gonna go with him. Look at this. This is the highest amount of salt I've ever had on here. Crazy. Fucking mental. 
I had such a terror. I went down to like 13 million off stream, by the way, and then came back up to like 17 million. It's funny how that works. We'll go with Piccolo. I believe in him. He might even be the one that swept that one tournament, but I don't think he was. Oh man, I've been going for almost two hours. It's crazy how the time flies when you're doing these. All we're gonna get to see today is just matchmaking. I think I started off when there was like 90 matchmaking rounds left, so... No way we're gonna get through all of them, even. Shoe's sleeping right now. He's having a lovely little sleep. He was so... I gave him so many treats and pets the day the dog was over. He was so stressed out. It was really sad, uh... He made that, like, uh, so I keep talking about, like, oh, he makes this little, like, squeaking noise, then we don't really know, like, why he does it. I've started to really, uh, zone in on the idea that it, he's just, like, afraid. Uh, somebody said that, like, it's like an alarm sound, like, he's basically trying to warn you, like, he's trying to warn others of danger with that noise, like, maybe other chinchillas. Uh, so... The fact that he started doing it, like, a ton when the dog was around really made me think that that was true, but maybe it's just confirmation bias. I mean, my theory is still, like, he gets nightmares, and that's why he wakes up and squeaks like that sometimes. Okay, Piccolo. I love you, man. You're doing great. He doesn't disappoint. This girl he's fighting is a, a Tuhu, I believe, but, like, obviously not from the Tuhu fighting games because she actually looks like an adult. <laughs> not to put too fine of a point on it. Uh, she actually looks like she's, like, you know, grown up and not a toddler, as most Tuhu characters look. <laughs> Tuhu. Like, let's not mince words here. Nice. I love that big creepy robot in the background. Is that that's not like Sentinel? That's not a Marvel stage, right? Maybe it is. Nujabees and Fat John, the Mighty Thor and Meta Knight Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I think we gotta vote for Meta Knight, regardless of his quality. We've thought about getting another chinchilla. We're just kind of worried. Uh, there is a possibility that if we get one and then introduce them to each other, that they will not take to each other. Uh, which I think in that scenario, we do have a large cage for Shu, and he really only, most of the time, spends time in the top half. So maybe if we got another chinchilla, we might just, like, if they don't get along, just have them take the bottom bunk and just separate the two cages. But, uh, ideally they would be friends, of course. We're gonna go for, uh, Meta Knight. Let's do a mill! Let's do a mill! I feel like throwing it around. It's clearly not actually like, you know, the, like you see the one like render of him in the corner, but that's clearly pixel art from some other game or made unique. By the way, Animal Well does uh, in one of the, man, what a great game. It was so cool. Uh, and there's so many cool like little interactions with a bunch of different animals, just like all over the place, just constantly. I've bemoaned in Elden Ring the like unique, the lack of like unique encounters. Animal Well is just like filled to the brim with cool unique encounters. Uh, but there's chinchillas. There's little chinchillas that walk around and go, oh, 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 oh. and uh, when you use them as platforms, they like help you get to places. And when you stand on top of their little heads, uh, depending on what side of the head you're standing on, their ears will, like, fold down, like chinchilla ears do. Very cute. Very fucking cute. Isabelle and I obviously, like, pogged the fuck out when we saw that. Okay, Meta Knight is going to lose, baby. He is, like, 100% gonna lose. <laughs> it's really kind of shocking that, uh, you know, shocking that Thor keeps landing that, uh, lightning move on him. Oh, he just did four. Is that, that's not an insta-kill though, no. I just noticed he's got a fucking percentage. It's going down. Zero, 99, 98. 
very strange. 37. That is not how the percent works in Smash. <gasps> One. He's on, I guess, if it, it... Oh, he won! Wow. I guess it... That's how it works if you're on, uh... The game mode where it works like that, but... Nobody plays that game mode. Stamina mode, yeah. Fuck that. I have low hopes. I think that last round was a fluke, frankly. But uh, we can we can dream, I guess. Thor was never actually his own standalone character in Marvel vs. Capcom, right? Or at least not until 3. He was never in the sprite-based ones as anything but an assist, right? Yeah... Yeah... Okay. Eat the super mode. And Clark, I'm assuming that's the grappler guy who looks like he's ready to go for a delightful day of fishing. <sighs> okay. Who the fuck is this? Giorno Giovanna looking ass. Okay. What was that sound? I feel like that- I recognize the shit out of that sound. I don't know, man. What if we, uh, I'll just do it. A teeny, a minuscule bet of $80,000. We'll bet on Clark. Is his shirt, like, torn open or something? And he's got, like, a gay little, <laughs> like, woven black thing underneath? Like a tank top? Does anybody know what the fuck Haita Super Mode even is? It looks like a real sprite, but I don't recognize the franchise. Oh, he's got a sash, yeah. It looked like his shirt was torn open to reveal one of those, like, very holy, uh, black shirts, you know? <laughs> Yeah, a mesh shirt. A zesty mesh shirt. I was looking for, like, the right words to say there. Zesty mesh shirt is, like, the exact correct thing. What the fuck? He's dead. Just die. Wait, what the fuck? No. Stop it. I love the guy in chat just saying, Okay, dude. <laughs> What the fuck? He even died after that. He literally, his body, he was like on zombie mode. The, the message hasn't reached his brain that he was dead yet until he finished that combo. What the fuck? Okay, well, I guess I'll just go fucking cry. Whatever, I didn't bet very much. Wild. Okay, what do we got? I would love one more funny one. Yellow Devil. That's kind of cool. Depending on how this guy looks, I, I think there's a Yellow Devil on here that's like tiny and lame. But if it's like big and like the actual boss fight, we'll do a mill on that. And then probably, uh, I'll probably saw it off. Oh my god. Oh, I think it's big, but it's not actually the boss fight. And he's got such a higher win rate than the opponent. I feel like there's no point in betting a million there. Let's just do a normal bet, and we'll wait. We'll wait for another, for a, we need like an explosively funny one, right, to end it on. Or a cool one, you know? And if it goes on for too long without getting one of those, then we'll just fizzle the fuck out and have a disappointing stream end. Betting closed. Isn't that gal from the obscure Wii Castlevania fighting game? I mean, that's a 3D fighting game, right? Castlevania Judgment, I believe you're talking about? Which is a fucking hilarious game, by the way. Just the fact that it exists. <laughs> okay, this must... Is this like a version of the Yellow Devil from like a more recent Mega Man game or something? It's clearly not from, like, one or two or whatever he's originally from. Wow. That was dumb, but he ended up taking it.
I, I, I want to say I don't recognize this yellow devil sprite, but he's acting like a boss fight. Yo, the Plasm Wraith! The Plasm Wraith and the Yellow Devil from Mega Man should make out, I think. Settle their differences. <laughs> I'm saying that like they have like a well-known beef. Guys, did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear, guys? Guys, did you hear? <laughs> oh, Hugo Andore Jr. Now, let's play... Oh, and Raiden Metal Gear Rising. That's kind of pogged. Hugo Andore Jr. I don't know if this is going to be Street Fighter 3 Hugo or Final Fight Andore. Huge drama, guys. Big drama between the two rappers. Okay, it's motherfucking... I think... Let's do a mill on Hugo. I'm feeling it. Let's just make sure. Yeah. This is the fucking, like, goober-ass final fight version of Hugo. <laughs> he originally, I think, was just called Andore Jr., and then in Street Fighter 3 he got changed to Hugo, but... And there's also Final Fight Revenge, which has a weird version of Hugo that's kind of like the one in Street Fighter 3 and kind of like the original one in Final Fight, where he, like, uses his big chain as an attack. <laughs> final Fight Revenge is a fucking crazy game. All right, the odds are pretty stacked. He's just sitting on him. He's sitting on him. What the fuck? <laughs> right then, you can't do this. You can't let him do that to you, man. Fight back. <laughs> Excuse me, sirs. This is an active flight. Uh, we're 40,000 feet in the air. Could you please settle down? This is a JoJo's stage. This must be uh, the, like, what is it, the tower? The little scarab beetle guy fight? I don't know if I've ever seen this stage before, but it looks amazing. I'll kick you in the balls! What did he say? <laughs> Alright. Wicked sick! Yeah, this is gonna be wicked sick when you get sitted upon. Okay, well we barely made any money off of that, but it was a cool million bet. Tower of Grey, yeah. Long way. I've got a long way for you. Shadow Mario. Let's stick around for Shadow Mario. I'd love to be on that plane, yeah. I mean, you know, not with Tower of Grey going around killing people, but the wide fucking aisle. Unbelievably wide. Like, imagine zooming out and showing how wide that fucking plane is. Okay. Shadow Mario. Interesting, but it's like a... I think that's maybe a Partners in Time sprite. It's certainly from the Mario & Luigi series. We got Alter Wind over here. Fuck that. Let's just do... I'll just bet my winnings from that last fight on Shadow Mario, I guess. I really doubt he's gonna do good. It, this guy's made by Pizza Sauce. <laughs> they spelled sauce wrong. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Pizza Sauce. I wonder if this is made by the same person who made the, like, Bowser Jr. that's an edit of Baby Bowser from Partners in Time. With the, like, Mario World sprite of the clown car in the background. This is, like, I'm, gonna, I'm about to say some Ace Attorney brain rot stuff. Whenever I see buildings, like skyscrapers at night with those red lights on top of them, which I assume those lights are there to, like basically alert helicopters and planes and such uh, to the fact that there's a building there, right? Uh, whenever I see those, I think about the intro cutscene to uh, Rise from the Ashes, the fifth case from the first game. And it's like, those are everywhere. Like, that's not from Ace Attorney in any regard, but it's just what my mind always... I'm always like, oh, it's like Rise from the Ashes! Eh. Okay, uh, Shadow Mario is doing fucking great so far. You like that little fucking, like, cream pie splat sound? Yeah, I said it. That's like, yeah, it's some major fucking Ace Attorney brain rot. I accept it. I accept it. Okay, round two, let's see if he can, uh, keep it up. Mm. 
And he has lost half of his health and is swiftly losing more. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He did one inch of damage on her, so that's pretty big contrast from the first round. And it looks like he's probably fucked. I wonder if she has fucking sore loser AI. Some characters do, like, wake up after one round, after they lose once. Come on, just, like, get her in the corner. Don't relent in the pressure. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> she did the gay little, like, Iori laugh. Solid wax. Ryder versus Dawn. I think Ryder... Is that the guy who's just, like, a buff dude with no shirt, but with, like, a motorcycle helmet? Oh, and Third Strike uh, Akuma stage, I would assume. Which is a dope fucking stage. Okay. Let's see what we got. No. Oh, Don. <laughs> Don, they say. Hey, right, we'll go with Donatello. Let's kick shell. Let's kick shell. I want to do one more big bet before the end of the day. Maybe even multiple millions if it's something that I'm particularly like passionate about. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with Red. I don't know what she's from. But they were made with love and care by Ouchie. I love... Yeah, Mikey. This is Mikey. I love Mikey. Okay. Oh, thank God she's not going strong style. I don't know why you wouldn't choose to be strong... Don has clearly made the choice to be strong. Hair. She punches with her hair. Philia type beat. Uh, it's, uh, it's anyone's game. It's anyone's fucking game. She's at a meter now. And she doesn't gain it that quickly. Don, you gotta do something, bro. Two or three hits should do it. Nope. Alright. Thanks for introducing me to Extreme Evolution. Very cool. Uh, yeah, it's a cool game. Kinda got overshadowed by an Animal Well for me. Uh, but I'm gonna get back into it soon, I think. Oh, Don, I'm not feeling too good about your chances. Sorry. Mikey, back to the training room. Mikey, you're a loose cannon. You're always a bit of a, you know, you're the freak of the group, Mikey, and you need to calm down. You need to learn your place. Oh my god, horse. <laughs> Why are you laughing, dude? You did not do jack shit. Burn and Lambda versus Maverick Hunter. I think Burn and Lambda are from... Oh, what is it called? The one that has, has like, Nico in the name. Fuck. Umineko. Yumaniko. Whatever. I think. Street Fighter Alpha 3 Honda stage. I don't know what this one is off the top of my head. Is it a bathhouse by any chance? That's kind of his classic thing. Yeah? Oh no! They're from fucking Dong Dong! Okay. A big bet. Let's do a big bet. Let's just do a nice one million on Burn and Lambda. They're probably going to get their shit kicked in by this 68% win rate douchebag. But, uh, and that's, is that not just zero? What is Maverick Hunter about him? We're going to go with Burn and Lambda. It's funny, there's a bunch of Dong Dong characters in this game, but I feel like they're all ported in by, like, different people. They all have, like, wildly different, uh... Like, quality to them, basically. <laughs> Alright. If we win, we get, like, three million, but that makes me think we're not gonna win. <laughs> no, they're so fucked. They're so fucked. Cooked, even. Never cook again. Oh. Alright. 
Nice Shin Shoryuken. <laughs> I don't know why they have that. <sighs> Just keep doing that. Nope. Not that. Ow. What was it that Spawn was saying whenever he uppercut it? Kill yourself! Kill yourself! Okay, good. Kira, kira, kira. That's like the automatopoeia for spinning around, and we know that from Kuru 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 Rin. Okay. They had a life lead for a second there. That was something. Uh. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's kill this guy. Let's beat him to death in dresses. They have zero meter now, though, and he has three, which is real upsetting. Mmm. He- all it takes is one fucking big ultra super from him and he's- they're dead. All it takes is anything and they're dead. Well, it was a nice dream. Oh my god, so close. So close. Well, you gotta respect it. That was a Poggers match. You gotta respect it. Rip my three million uh, possible winnings, but... Oh, Yoko Shimomura. I knew this song was banger. Crazy. So close. So fucking close. I, had, I went quiet. I had to give them... Uh, I had to hush so that they could concentrate. I just want to see what S Super Mario is. Is it going to be a good one? I don't know what Jackpot Devil is, either. This was made by Super Mario 193281. Oh, it's X tier. Oh, God. Ah, let's do the X tier. Fuck it. 800k on Super Mario. What if I bet $193,281? Nah. We gotta bet more than that. Look at the fucking guys in the background with the monkey. That dude just bobbing his head back and forth. This is awesome. Is this supposed to be like a Greece stage? Ilios. Traveling to Ilios. You like how this water has that like flickering transparency effect on it and it's just making their feet strobe? Yeah, we've seen this sprite set for Mario on different characters, I think. This is the same... It's The sprites are drawn by the same guy who makes... Uh, who made... Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing, which is a hilarious character, because he just stands there and a bunch of bullshit just falls in from off-screen. Oh my god, 11 to 1 odds. Uh, regardless of what happens, even if Mario wins, we lose. Because we make essentially no money. Whoa! Look at him go, oh my god. Oh. This is the stage that made a 10-0 matchup in a KOF game? What does that mean? Made a 10-0 matchup. He's invincible. He's fucking invincible. You can't, can't win. You can't win against invincible. It's in the rules. Oh my god. He's just blindly swinging. My man's got the wild strikes from Elden Ring. What a fucking Chad. Very cool. Jahan. Man, oh, look at that fucking ten-lane pile-up of a name. It's hard to stop playing here when we're, uh, winning sometimes. I guess we just killed a negative three streak. Let's see what this is. Jahan's just like a fucking anime dude, right? I want to see what Charles Zagok is. Oh, shit. It's a Joy Mech fight bot. Uh, yeah, hun, you did miss the Animal Well spoilers. You can listen now. <laughs> it's funny, because she played the game with me. Therein lies the humor. We're gonna go, uh, another big bet. 
I like the joy bots. They can sometimes be, they're stupid, but they do stupid amounts of damage, uh, making them a favorite of mine. I love characters that are like that on here. I've played actual Joy Mech fight with Isabel just like very briefly. It's like, it's bad. <laughs> Honestly, like, maybe I just didn't understand how to, like, do moves in it or something. But I was like, this, I can't stand this. <laughs> it, it felt about as involved as, like, the Tiger Electronic Street Fighter 2, uh, machine. Uh, well, I gotta say, the odds are not too bad. If he wins this, we get half a million, which is nothing to sneeze at. It's awesome. Joy Mech Fight. Something can be awesome in the way that you and I call it awesome, and still <laughs> suck. <laughs> okay, but look, John is jobbing. All right, so if he if he wins, though, I'm gonna type. I'm just gonna prepare a message here. I'm such a fucking like Twitch grandpa. I'm out here typing kappa and saying lull to things. Says a corny pun, and then the Kappa. That's such a, like, Twitch dad thing to do. Alright, very cool. A rival, Blanca stage, Blanca. Uh, Wendy. Wendy Koopa? Wendy from Wendy's? Hmm. Yeah, Bella, it's crazy that you typed that No John's Kappa in the chat here. What is this fucking background? Is that from, like, Naruto or some shit? Uh, okay, I... I'm struck with an urge to stop upon seeing this matchup. This matchup does not really enthrall me. So, let's, let's call it there for today. It was very fun, but I need to go get food. And I need to go... I, I need to go get dinner and work on dinners. I need to go work on my dinner and then work on my dinner. You know what I mean? So, uh, I hope you guys had a fun time looking at the stream today. Looking at the stream, he says. Here's some cute shoe. Uh, look at his little, I didn't notice his big flat foot sticking in from off screen too. Uh, let's go raid somebody, how about it? Uh, is anybody, Jabroni Mike? Oh, hey, there's me. Uh, I just did the exact same, uh. He's playing Abiotic Factor. I just playing with, like, a bunch of other people. What if we go raid somebody playing Animal Well? I'm sure somebody is playing it. Tenma. Uh. Hubert. How about we go raid Hubert0987? Is this... Is, do they, are, they, are they, like, speaking? They're doing any percent attempts at this game, so I guess spoilers. Let's go, uh, let's go raid Hubert. Slash raid Hubert0987. Uh, be chill, as always. This is a guy with, like, five viewers right now, so... Uh, don't, don't go all cuckoo crazy. Uh, be respectful and uh, enjoy the the cool game and go check out fucking animal. Well big recommend That's my like recommend of the week. I think uh, I Don't think there will be a stream tomorrow. I think I will stream on Tuesday. I think the next stream that I do will be on Tuesday. We'll see though. We'll see what happens uh, Take it easy <laughs>